what is a very uh, good way is to, to have latest technology, latest hardware available and students can log in. For example, they have to parallelize a very small example. They first have some ideas, then they program it, and then they log into the new machine and try the code and see where the problems are. So if the students have the possibility to, to get in contact with, with latest hardware, hardware they can't buy because it's not available on the market, this is very attracting for students. So students come and want to have a look at these things. The free lunch is over means in, in former times uh, the clock rate was just going higher and higher, and so the program the, was faster. Just You bought a new processor and then your program ran faster. That was, roughly speaking, uh, the idea. And now you, you buy a, a processor which has, for example, two cores or four cores, but they are running at the same or even a lower clock rate. So if you start your serial program, nothing much will happen. You have a processor with four cores instead of one core, but the program doesn't run any faster. So the, uh, the application programmer has to spend some effort. He has to parallelize the program in order to benefit from the new architecture. And if it doesn't do so, nothing will happen. The program stays at the same speed. And that's the problem, I think. People don't realize that.